Uh, using groups to talk with department and house members is great. Uh, to create a new group, just go up to groups, and anyone can do this. Click on create. From there, make sure that you pick the school that you're in. I'm going to leave it district-wide right here, and I'm going to give it a name and call something like Math Department and a little short description. Privacy. We want to keep it only to the group and access. We have three choices, invite only, allow requests, and completely open. Um, I do suggest leaving it... Um, well, for a math department group, I guess none of these really matter because you're going to distribute a code. So I'm going to leave it right here as open, and I'm going to hit Create. Once I do that, I'm in my group, and some things that you may want to do right away is click Edit Picture and upload an image so you can identify yourself. Uh, next thing is to go into the Group Options and edit the Privacy and Group Settings. Because in here you can decide uh, who's going to uh, be able to post. And we may want all members to do it if they're all teachers. Uh, comment on group updates. Yeah, we want all members to do that. Create discussions. Let's let all members do that. And then um, also to upload resources. Uh, this you'll have to decide if just you want to do it or you want to let your whole department do that. And it's simple enough. Once you're done, click Save Changes. The next part is getting people in there. So I'm going to go back to my math department group and go down to members. And you're going to see that right now I'm the only one in there and I'm the admin because I have the crown. You can simply click on add members, do a search for somebody like, um, oh, and find somebody. And then click this button that says add, add members without an invite. That basically means that they're going to be automatically thrown into that group. There we go. So Austin Ferdman is, uh, Fetterman is actually in there. And if I want to remove him, I can always click Remove. If I want to make him an admin, I can also click Make Admin. But I'm going to remove him because he probably doesn't want to be in here. So that's the basics of setting up a group. You can do all your news right from here and post it. You can also upload files and, and uh, share them through there. But also you have a group resources. If I have resources in this group, I can push them out to any course that I want. That's why having a group for a department is awesome because we can all have common files there that we all have access to and can push to our courses. There you go. That's how you use a group with a department or house.